So I'm hoping this is a really easy project in the Mini. Um, within the Mini armrest, or certainly in the model that I have, um, there's a phone charger in the top. Um, I'll see if I can move the camera around so you can see. So if you lift it up, uh, you can see there's kind of a, an adapter in there. Um, this has got um, the cover plate in there. Underneath you can kind of see there's some connection points and stuff. Um, and basically what you're supposed to get is, depending on your type of phone, there is a snap-in module that goes into here. Um, the only trouble is they're ridiculously expensive for what is for predominantly a charging cable. Um, however, I did manage to pick up on good old eBay uh, one of these, um, which is a wireless charging adapter. Um, so you don't need a cable. Um, and that slots in the same position as, as the module that I've just showed you. Um, so what I'm going to try and do is take out the old one and put in the new one. Now, uh, if you look on, um, my approach to this is, uh, I've never done this before, and thanks to BMW closing down some of the sites that provide technical information, um, it's a bit of a shot in the dark, really. Um, what I'm going to try and do is get this um, back panel off the armrest, so get some prizing clips and see if I can um, pull that off. Um, and then I'm going to get into the glove box itself um, and see if I can prize out the adapter that's in there. Um, I'll try and come back as I go along, uh, but I think this is going to be a two-handed job, uh, so the camera's going to have to go down for most of this. Um, so back to you shortly. Alright, so that's the first bit of fighting over and done with. That was really quick. Um, I attacked it down in the bottom corners here and kind of pulled out these bits and pulled it back this way. Um, and that seems to have... Oh, there we go. That seems to have freed it up. Um, and you can pull off the back. And lo and behold, down in the hole in the bottom, that looks very much like one of the connectors that I've got. And that very much looks like the other connector I've got. Um, so... Just need to follow those through um, and into the inside of the armrest. Um, deep joy. All right. So we've arrived at the easy jobs that aren't easy jobs. Um, so I spent quite quite a bit of time trying to get this out, and I still haven't got it out. Um, mainly because I was trying to tackle it from the front end here and try and pry it out. The reality is, if you see down the back here... There are, if I can twist this slightly on its side, you'll see a couple of holes. And further down in here, it's like little clips, these two bits here. So if you get the wedge or your trim tool down the side there and kind of push those back in, that's what releases this. However, the cables are firmly wedged on the underside and I cannot lift it out. Um, so now I'm round the back, so bear with me. So, back into the back, I've released all of the cables. But if you look very carefully where the cables go in to the tray, those are kind of trapped there, they're quite um, not willing to move. So what I'm going to do is take um, these bolts off in here, um, and hopefully that will free up the armrest. And with the armrest out, then I should have a better view of what's stopping it moving. Okay, so that did not pan out the way I was expecting. Um, so bolts out either side. You can see all the wires are now gone, and I'll explain why in a moment. Um, but the that does not release this armrest because it's restricted by the way the metal forms over the top. But what it did release was the tray. So the tray, that allows you to lift the armrest up and slide out the tray, um, still with its adapter in and still with the cables hanging out the back. Um, but the tray comes out from underneath the armrest as a result of loosening those bolts. Uh, so weird. Um, as I say, not what I was expecting. I was thinking, take the armrest out, get better access to the tray. But no, the other way around, take the bolts out, tray comes out you can see there is a small bolt in the bottom of that tray which is what is uh, clamping onto the cables um, so I'm going to undo those hopefully that releases the cable hopefully that allows me to change the adapter out um, and then it will be a job of reassemble uh, for reference torx 20 on the outside 10 mil um, 
nylock washer um, on the inside. All right, back shortly. So this is the challenge you face when you have no manuals. Um, so I released that screw. However, the clamp did not come away because the clamp forms part of the top unit. So I then got the trim tools and pried all the way along on both sides to release it. However, it would not release from the front. And I was getting to the point where you know something's going to snap if you apply more pressure to it. Um, it turns out that buried in here, they are these two screws, um, which you have to unscrew. And it's very hard to get at them because the handle's in the way. So you have to push the handle out of the way, try and force your screwdriver in and get those screws out. Once you've got the screws out, this bit comes away completely. Now you can see access to all of the wiring underneath. That unit will come out fairly easily. Uh, which will be my next job. Um, so that was the swearing part of the job and probably the job that's been most challenging so far on this um, is just to get the actual phone tray in two halves. Uh, but once done, um, I'm hoping, I've said this twice already, I think, um, I'm hoping it's plain sailing from here, but let's go. So there we go, uh, old charger out, new charger in. So the old adapter is there, taken out. Managed to get the new one in. Um, these two screws at the front, they are really, really tough jobbies. Um, not only to take out, but also to get back in. Uh, that was quite fiddly. Um, I'm now gonna put it back in the armrest and bolt the armrest back up. Um, so I might just come back for a final uh, all done snap. So all installed, uh, it was pretty much um, put back together as you took apart. It wasn't hard at all. Uh, the only bit that was slightly fiddly was getting the bolts back in the armrest. But if you kind of raise it in the upright position um, so there's no tension on it, it makes it easier. It was a bit fiddly, but uh, only took a few minutes to sort that one out. Um, and that's the charger. Just slot your phone in there and away you go. Um, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, <laughs> I'll let you know when the next one is. Thank <laughs> you.